Hey everybody, in today's video, I wanna show you about some very common automations that people use in Trello. Are you ready? Let's dive in. So first of all, to head to automations in your board, you're gonna click this lightning bolt action item and you're gonna to go to, you can click any of those sections, the rules or whatever, they just take you to different sections of automation. But um, today I wanna to show you some really common ones because there's a lot you can do with automation, but I, I wanna show you what I've seen people do most commonly. So first of all, most common one is any time happening, having something happen anytime a card is added to a board and you would do that under rules so you're going to go to add trigger and it's literally this very first trigger here when a card is added to the board um, and you can specify if it's like emailed into or moved into the board you could even say a card is added to the board in a um, specific list so I'll use this one for that um, but basically a lot of times people will want something to happen when a card is added and so click that blue plus button to add that and then you can string on any number of actions and so it could be maybe when a new card is added to the board you want to be assigned the card and so you could say join the card or assign it to a specific member of the board um, you could also say add a due date and set the due date to be within seven days you could even go over to the content and say send an email notification to um, to your email address or like your team's email address or something with a subject and you could use butler variables to include things like card name was added to card board I check that's exactly the variable but um but basically yeah you can grab different information from cards and replicate that in there and then you could even have like card link right here so you could go directly to the card um so there's all sorts of different things that's a pretty common trigger because like i said it's, it's a good way to sort of assign work sort it uh, gain awareness and also just make sure everything like has what it needs another common rule that people like to use is scheduled. Um, and so if you've ever used a card repeater power up, you might be interested in scheduled rules because it lets you create automations based on a specific schedule. So if you click create automation here, click add trigger, you'll see the different triggers you have here. So you could say every day, or you could say every two weeks or on you know every Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever days you have here, you could even say every month, every couple months on a specific day of the month, blah, 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 blah. And then when you add those triggers, you can do actions like create a card. And so this is another common automation where people will say every Monday, create a card with you know my checklist of my daily tasks or something like that, or every week create a checklist for weekly reporting. Um, you could even like create a list. So I've seen a lot of people will do this and um, it's a, a common one to kind of say every week, create a new list named week number. And then you could say, you know, move all of the cards that are currently in maybe your done list to that week number. You can reference that variable again and move it into the week number. And so this sort of automation is going to, on those days, create a new this doesn't make sense really with every Monday, Wednesday, because you probably do this once a week, but you could say every week, create a new list with week number, blah, 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 move all the cards and done. And then that clears out your done list every week. So you can see a log of what you've completed each week. So those are pretty common. And then I want to show you some common ones in due date real quick. Um, common due date automations. These all relate to a due date and around when a card is due. And so what a lot of people will do is um, create ones that's like on the Monday before a card is due they will make sure to add specific labels they will maybe um under the add remove you can add a green label to the card um they maybe will um edit the due date probably not but there's options if you need to maybe you know change the due date from there they may move it to another list that's like things to work on this week they may post a comment um maybe something like app card uh can i get an update on this or you know is this on track to be finished this week uh, there's a bunch of different actions you may want to do with that based on if it's due this week so those are some common automations i hope those help and give you some inspiration there's only like there's so much you can do with this it's like wild like you you would blow your mind thinking about all you can do with Trello automation but i hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration and kind of scratches the surface and help you think of things and maybe trigger some ideas about things that can work in your workflow um let me know what you think if you have any questions comment below uh, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think